welcome back so in this uh, lecture we'll learn a few things about uh, about some uploading and about photos in canva so for upload basically you have to log in in your canva account so uh, i hope you guys are logged in to your canva and now uh, you can open any perhaps i have opened a uh, presentation so if you have to upload any photo then you can simply go to upload go to your upload media and it will open a download so let's open a photo and now it will take some time until it gets uploaded and once that's uploaded you can simply drag it to your center of the screen wherever you desire so currently i placed right at the center so let's see a few things about these photos so you can do full screen in this way uh, here is the screen so basically this is how your slides will start you can the slides are through this way as well so let's learn a few things about photos you can use canva to edit your photos as well you have here edit options so there are some basic editing available it is not powerful as photoshop but you can definitely do a few ed editing so here you have background remover i don't think there is some uh, background that needs to be removed though so let's see how powerful Canva is in removing background in this picture. So it takes a certain time. We need to wait for uh, how, depending upon the complexity of your image. So you can see it removed completely these clouds from my image. I think I didn't save that. So you can see here from earlier um, our clouds have been removed so canva is uh, smart enough to do that on its own so removing a background is uh, one way you can do that and to revert back to your original scenes you can press ctrl z or you can do it from here this is the ctrl z for undo and here is for redo ctrl shift and z now if i press ctrl shift z the background so remove what I guess we are already done with that. So more on the, uh, what we have on edit image option. So let's see. So we have seen our background remover and we can play with this adjust. We are different sort of adjusting. Previously in Canva, there used to be a very few options here, but now there are a lot. You can adjust your brightness. Basically, this is a simple thing. What you can see in basic all of those editing software sort of or you can use this normal way and this is your contrast so both brightness and contrast are for adjusting the light preference and your saturation is uh, more to us on your color gradient so you can see here as i saturate less it grows gray scale and i as i saturate it more it becomes more vibrant so in uh, different colors I think it will be better if I could stretch it out. Okay, so this is good. So, so here is your gray scale, and here is your eye saturation. So I'm in the middle. This is my normal photo, and this photo is taken by me. So this is a normal photo. So this is gray scale, and the more saturated it is, it is more color gradient. You can see it looks beautiful. I keep it in the zero for right now. The brightness and contrast are for adjusting the lights. Contrast for your uh, dark color lights and brightness for bright ones. And this tint is basically adding a layer in front of your photo. So as you can see, I when I move towards the red tint, you can see a reddish layer above my photo. And as I move towards the blue tint, you can see the blue layer on my photo. So let's leave it in the middle. So blur is basically for how much you would like to blur your photo. No, you cannot select a specific portion and blur that out, but this thing actually blurs out complete photo. So this can be useful sometime in presentation when you would like to show some blurry contents and in that way. And with this, this is less blur, blur or highly pixelated content. And with uh, moving forward, this is more blurry content. So let's leave it in the middle right now. Now this X process or cross process is also similar to uh, adding layer but it is sort of a negative layer process so you can find play along with it 
and this is vignette which is sort of adding a shadow from the corners and as i move towards here the negative shadow is not there and as i move keep in the middle there is some shadows and you can see those shadows coming from the corner so that's all about vignette so this warmth is more about adding a warmness or it's similar to tint adding a red color colored here and with the warmth adding blue colored upper layer and for the clarity here it is sort of uh, removing the blur or making it more pixelated and this vibrance is also similar to uh, your warmth yeah, but it only gives a little touch of the fields on that and this is for your highlight so highlight is where your major light is being focused as you can see here is my sunlight and now when it is being focused you can see here from this area it is on the focus the light seems to be going from there so that's for highlight and from shadow you can see from the corners where the shadow has generated it is going to increase and decrease the shadows from there and finally here is our fade fade is for that bright source of light or well, basically if you see it properly it is also an adding of a layer so that's all for your adjust now you have uh, different sort of filters as well there are a lot of filters as well at here you can play along with the filters and you can even add go to settings and add the intensity so let's see some so here is a deer filter and let's see the intensity so you can see this is you can play along with this one as well so let's see on the some gray scale of some so if you'd like to keep a bit colored a bit gray then this, this would be a right option for you so next to filter we have some photogenic options like here you can choose different sort of designs so there are a lot of different things with which you can play along in your photo uh, in comparison to old canva and the current canva the current canva is a lot powerful work in which you can work with different photos so this is for your photogenic this is a completely new feature in canva so this was not available earlier and now this is in different ways you can play along with your photo you can see you can do different sort of designs so if you prefer not to use filter and directly this then you can do that as well or the combination of both works as well and you can have some smart mockups for example you can see now that photo would be included here let's see how it will make it will look interesting so you can see here your photo actually went into this mobile cover design inside of that so this is this smart mockup so your photo got concentrated at there there are different mockup designs as well let's see some so you can have your in your mock design as well now you can see inside of this cup or mock you can see that design will be printed at here so you can see here it looks wonderful let's try on some hoodie uh, so canva is powerful you can do play along with different sort of things at here so you can see it got printed on that hoodie now you can save this and give it for your t's printing as well so this is also one way of working with those photos now let's cancel that for right now now we have shadows we can play along with shadows as well now you can see uh, this is just a small bit of shadow design so it's like this uh, photo being pasted on some wall and this is a shadow being created we have some backdrop shadow some angle shadow so you can play along with different shadow designs you can have some frames so this is like keeping it in a laptop frame uh, let's see some different frames as well so we can have some like plain sort of frame interesting we can we can add some this sort of canvas frame as well so this is also interesting aspect and there are some different sorts of designs more designs where you can use with that so this is all for some retro designs and 
you can do some slice sort of design as well you can you just have to uh, add an option of using it and there is a slice option now available now if you prefer to keep it in some like tone sort of design now you can add that as well so this is how you add so you can have different options for here you can add some pixelated 3p or some letter mosaic so this is interesting let's try one so here is our letter mosaic and now let's try one colorize now you can see these letters trying to colorize this though it's interesting it didn't look nice you can add some paint effect to your designs as well so let's see some paint effect so this would look like some artistic painting design in this way you can work with canva with your photos so although simple not powerful as the photoshop application but canva does the work and you can do it as for your necessity and then work here and then save it so, so uh, this seems to be like some difficult painting or that's so why it didn't look that better let's see if some mosaic painting would look better so uh, once this is done then that would be all for your editing image and um, of course the crop option is here then you can have some animate option as well so for the animate option you can use some rise this is available basically because i'm in the presentation one that's why and if you like to use some crop option for this photo then definitely you can select your crop option so so i've selected this small eyeline inside of this font and let's do this done and see cropping is also as it is as it can be and now you can even set some background you can right click and see different sort of options from here as well so you can animate you can add some comment set image as background so now this image is background for that or if you prefer to undo anything here you can always undo using here or press ctrl z to redo it is ctrl shift and z and now if you like to keep this and you don't like to save this then you can simply download and you have different options where you can save it as and png jpg pdf pdf printing and different sort of designs so that's all how you work on those photos in canva applications i'll see you on the next one